You know, spring is sprung week. Yeah. It's continuing around here. With the one thing we all dread about the season, allergies. Here to help us uh, with some helpful tips is Dr. Holly Phillips. Good to Hi. see you, Dr. Holly. Welcome back. Help us with helpful tips. <laughs> yes. It's great to be yeah. here. Redundancy is the thing. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people suffer from spring allergies. Sure. Some people, like, develop them, like, out of nowhere all of a sudden. Exactly, as, as adults. Yes, it's, it's right. It's entirely possible. So, so give what, us some, what some happens? solutions. How do we get through the season? Right, right. Well, so spring is the most intense allergy season. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of my patients have been saying, it's getting worse, and they're right. Mm -hmm. So spring allergy season is starting earlier, ending later, and the pollen counts are higher. So mm. if you're sensitive, it, it, it okay. matters. Now, there's things we can do. The one first rule of thumb, what we want to do is keep the pollen out of our home because okay. we can't do anything about it outdoors. Right. But, but we can really control what's inside, and that'll help our symptoms. Number one, Take off your clothes as soon as you walk in the door. I mean, well, she doesn't have to be told to do I, that. You know, that's a horror show for anybody <laughs> that may be wandering by. I mean, you could keep a robe by the door, keep a hamper by the door, okay. but take off all the clothes, socks, and shoes. Um, Mark, you're because uh, have Alfred have, keep a yeah, basket There's no by Alfred, me. just so you know, people. She's making that up. People think I, this man named Alfred tucks me in the bed at night. Alfred, not true. his man Fiction, Nanny. Lies. His Manny, if you will. Right. Well, sorry, Dr. Holly. But that's all right. <laughs> what about pets when pets come in? Yeah, so pets, just like our clothes, pets get covered in pollen when they're outside. Okay. Oh, um, look, is this Sammy? So, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. And then they, they come in, they oh, get Sammy. it on the carpet, yeah. they get it on the couch. So you just wipe Sammy. them off with a Ooh. wet cloth. You're doing a great job there. <laughs> Can you Sammy's come over been here since I was a kid watching the show. I wanted to know, that's, you know that's not a real dog, right? <laughs> oh, don't tell me that. Now, this one is so straightforward, but really important. Shower at night. Even if you're a morning shower person, you could I do, do both. both. I do both. But shower at night, and particularly wash your hair. Because if pollen's in your hair, oh. you lie down on the pillow. But you told me not to on. wash my hair. And no, I it. didn't tell you. The dermatologist told us not to wash our hair oh. every day. Well, allergy season, wash your hair okay. so it's not on the pillow. You're not breathing right. it all night. Okay. And in the bedroom, try and keep the bedroom windows closed so pollen doesn't come in. Mm -hmm. And that's a HEPA filter. It's great at getting pollen out of the air. So it sucks so things out. So you can sleep well. Okay. Yeah. What about humidifiers? Should we also have a humidifier? happening? Yeah, Does that you know, help? Really, in the spring, it's more just about the HEPA filters. Uh, the, the air isn't as dry, and we're just trying to pull the pollen okay, out. Let's okay, let's get a break. We have more solutions right after this okay. for allergy season when we come back with Dr. Holly. All right. Back with some more remedies for allergy season. What do we have next, Dr. Holly? So, if you're suffering, medicines are an option. Uh, really, the mainstay of over-the-counter are antihistamines. Mm. Um, so, they come in pills, there is a liquid, um, there's even an antihistamine nose spray. Basically, they work, antihistamines work best before your symptoms start. So if you know it's allergy season, you're going to experience symptoms when you go outside, take them about 45 minutes or an hour before you go out and you'll it's a, you'll get a better effect. And do these make you drowsy or do they stimulate you? So almost all antihistamines do make you a little drowsy, but there are non-drowsy formulas, so look for that one okay. during the day. Okay, and then we need to identify our triggers, our own exactly. personal triggers, Exactly. If you right? see an allergist, they can tell you exactly what's causing your, your spring allergies. So let's say you're allergic to birch pollen. Okay. If you know that, there are great apps that tell you not only when the pollen count is high, but when the birch pollen count is okay. high. So oh. you can kind of plan ahead and specific, do what you need to do. Specific, very specific. Exactly. Right, okay. And we should wear goggles for and, protection? And all of this is just covering up. So the goggles would work if, let's say, you're mowing the lawn, you're... Or Snorkeling. Just, Trying to look chic, it's working. You should um, bring those to Alfred. There is no Alfred. <laughs> yes, there is. Um, but just keeping the pollen off of you is really the, I like these. the, the goal of that. That works. But how do you know if it's an allergy or a cold symptom? Right, that's, this is the top question. So it's hard because the symptoms really do overlap, but think allergies if you have a runny, watery nose, itchy eyes, itchy skin, itchy nose. Uh, that tends to be more on the allergy side. If you have a stuffy nose, dark mucus that's very thick, um, fever, body aches, that's a cold. Enjoy your porridge this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, great information. Thank you. We will try our best to combat this season. For those tips and more, you can go to our website, kellyandryan.com. <laughs> Next, we'll open up the inbox That's right after allergy. the break. Yeah.